Go on. We've got one. And we got a monster. I'm gonna get this uh, hook. This is us. Definitely, he swallowed that right down, but I am not worried at all that this isn't 32 centimeters. He is a good 36, 37. Brilliant. Well, g'day guys. We're uh, down at Merino today. This is, I guess, part one of a two-stage mission. The first stage is to get some squid, both for a feed, but also so we've got some tentacles, because tomorrow, heading to Waralti, back to Waralti Beach, been about a year since I've been there, and we're gonna try for some King George Whiting. I've just got my two beach rod setups. One's my nine foot general purpose, older rod with a pen, 8500 reel. And you know my trusty T-curve, 10 foot, three to six kilo with the Stratic 4000. They're both rigged with the Inku float, float stopper and a fast hatch clip. We're gonna put a squid jig on each. Given that it is really quite sunny out there, I'm gonna put the uh, Inku, gonna put the Inku Glow Tiger on one, because it's got that UV that'll shine up really nicely in the water. And I've got to restock my Dyna White, but you can see it's caught plenty of squid. My Dyna White with all of its battle scars, again Inku, and we'll see how they go. As per normal, there won't be any hesitation whatsoever to get the Squidgy's S Factor on here. This is extremely important when you're just um, floating a jig. I explained it in my last beach fishing squid video. But the reason we do that is because the squid taste through their candle tentacles, their long tentacles that they grab onto the jig with. So if they grab on and there's no squidgy S factor, it doesn't really taste like a fish, so they might not come back and grab it again properly. For our trace, it's an incoming tide. With it being an incoming tide, the trace isn't gonna to be too long. There is rocks, weed out here. I don't wanna lose my gear. So we just wind it up to our bead our float stopper and the wind's going left to right so I'm just going to cast out to the left I honestly don't think we have to be too far out and for the second one I'm just going to cast straight out And again, I don't think I need to be too far out. I've got to definitely keep an eye on this tide coming in. Oh, I can see that one, I can see that one. Because it is an incoming tide and I don't want to uh, get stuck. You can see there's already some water coming up around there. Unfortunately, I had some issues with my memory cards, and this was all the footage that was usable from this bait collecting session at Merino Rocks. We did, however, end up catching three squid, right on dusk and in very quick succession, meaning we achieved our objective of both a feed and some fresh tentacles for our widening mission tomorrow. So I've just got some absolutely fresh uh, squid tentacles. Um, I caught three squid at Merino Rocks last night. Uh, with the purpose of bringing the, the tentacles out here um, to try and catch some of these whiting. All right, guys, I think we got our first King George. We're out at Waralti Beach today. The uh, girls are back on the beach. And uh, we've got one! Yeah. <laughs> 
and we got a monster. Just gonna get this uh, hook. This is a definitely. Oh, hook myself. He swallowed that right down. Catch the spring in the net out. Because if I'm catching a few of these, I'm probably going to need a landing net going forward. Now what I want to do is get this out without um, obviously cutting off my hook. Hey buddy. Oh, doing exactly that. That is annoying. All right. I have to get Kat to bring out a new hook. I'm going to measure this one quickly. But I'm not worried at all that this isn't 32 centimetres. He is a good 36, 37. Brilliant. I've got my knife here and I'm going to icky him. He's gone limp. Put him in the bag. And I need uh, one more favour. Sorry, it's going to mean going back and in and out again. Yeah. See those hooks with the worm banders on them? Yeah. Can you bring out the cork that's got the rest of them? I think there's like three on there. They're just that one swallowed it way down. And then I just, um, when I put my pliers in there, it snapped it off. But nice, huh? I've still got one hook going. You can bring your camera. It's covered in sand. Oh, nice one. Still a bit hizicky, but catch, uh, catch 10 of those, we'll be doing all right. Got our trusty Inku squid net. Landing net. Yeah, that's a bit of fun, eh? Fun. I'm super stoked, guys. Um, uh, it's Saturday, and uh, on Thursday we reached our thousand subs. So brilliant, guys! I'm I'm so pleased. I I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos and uh, have decided to follow. Yeah. So I thought we'll we'll take the family on a trip uh, out to Waralti. It's about a two hour and ten minute drive, but I did this uh, in January last year and scored a bit when I was staying at Port Victoria. But anyway, let's get some bait on and see if we can catch some more of these uh, stonker whiting off the beach. So I've got some weed here in front of me and I'm just casting straight out uh, over that. Oh, that's fine. It's in the, I thought I was gonna hit that weed there. I'm getting some bites already. I'm actually just going to bring that in because I think I need to be a bit further uh, into that sandy patch there. And I did get baited on both hooks. That's better. When I caught that last whiting. I'm glad Kat's bringing out the extra hooks for me. Getting those little nibbles again. What I learnt last year with the whiting was just to be patient. Oh. And they will end up taking it. Uh, not sure what's going on there. Might have been baited. I wouldn't have thought I'd been baited because um, yeah, I got some weed on that swivel. Yeah, it have been baited. So that's really interesting. The um, Obviously they're coming out of that weedy patch and pulling me back in. So we're cooking with gas now guys. Um, just to show you the rig. Um, swivel down to a loop with a gamakatsu hook. Ball sinker swivel top one's obviously a snap swivel that's just a normal swivel down to the second hook it's about a 10 gram sinker uh, again you want to be fairly light with these guys and i don't mind leaving a little bit of slack got a little um banjo or shovel nose shovel nose here it's coming cruising around tiny little one that's pretty cool little shovel nose you may not be able to see it that's that camouflage is so good he won't hurt anyone yeah we got one got another one Good size. Look at the rod. Look at the bend on this rod. This T curve is just bloody amazing. Oh, it's a toadfish. Now that's annoying. Oh, thought that was whiting for sure. But the good thing with these worm burners is that they are a very good, um, uh, what I call leader guard as well. Here we go, he's right at himself and he's off. Well, I really hope there's not too many of them out there. We don't want the puffer fish, we want the King George waiting. Okay, let's get back into it. Uh, 
we've got another fish and I'm not sure if it's whiting now it's another bloody puffer it's so annoying it's not what I want to be catching guys I don't think I think we've got I think we've another puff what is it oh blue swimmer a big big blue swimmer we will keep that one <laughs> it's huge and now what would you like to say to everyone um the other day that we got um 1000 subscribers yeah and we're doing a special fishing channel we've got a fish still Possibly. I think it's another tough puffer fish. Yeah, another bloody puffer fish. God, they're hopeless. They're so annoying. Right, I'm gonna put some candle on. What's a candle? The, the candle is the tentacle that the squid shoots out when it grabs the fish. See, it's a really long tentacle. Yeah. And if you feel it, it's really soft. It is. It's squishy. It's squishy. And apparently, it's the favourite of the King George Whiting. Oh, this feels more whiting-ish. Oh, we got another. Oh, oh maybe. Whiting, everybody. Are you feeling? No. Oh, yeah, it is a whiting. Great. Yes. Turn the camera on. Turn the camera on. Your camera is on, darling. Yes. Get the net. I got it. All right. Put the fish in the net. Put the fish in the net. I got it. Whoa. And uh, how many fish in the day? Just hold the net, just hold it like that. Just hold it in the water a little bit. Definitely, he swallowed that hook though, look. Look how far down he swallowed that hook. Oh. Yeah, he's, uh, as you can see, he's uh, 30, oh, 34. It's another good size. Well, that's good to know. That there are some whiting over there. Coming, Mum! Mum, we got another whiting! Coming! Yep. So we at least got one each for Mum and Dad. Well, we've got something again. This looks whiting ish. I got it. I got the net. Tilly's got the net. Oh, God. I am such a jinx. What is it? It's a puffer fish. What? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, darling. Don't do it. I didn't that. mean to. So, we got a nice puffer fish that I don't think we can eat because puffer no. fish are actually poisonous. We've, there we go. He's off. It's not what we want. No. We already have two kings. King George Whiting, yes. George Whiting. And nothing else but puffer fish. Yeah, what if, how many puffer fish have we got? About six, I reckon. Five I'd or six. Say like 25. Oh. You, is this the first time that you've caught a banjo? No, I've caught one here before. So, yeah, I was winding that in. Wait, tickle it. Can you tickle it? No, <laughs> we can try and tickle it if you want. I'll, I'll get the hook out first. I'm assuming you can see it, but you tickle it? Does it smile? It sort of does. Let me see. Probably not. He's probably not very. Um, the hook. Digga, digga, digga. Digga, digga. Digga, digga. No. So I think we're on high tide now. I'm getting some bites still. Banjo was a bit fun. Uh, I think I think we've got something. Yeah, we def. Oh wow, we've definitely got something. Yes, you can get the net if you like. Whoa! It, whoa, that's taken the drag. That so this shot? should be a whiting. A oh, it got off. Yeah. Spewing. I'm pretty sure it was a whiting. Just the way it took the drag and was fighting. I Yeah, it's a bit disappointing. So Kat came out and just said to me it's 7 p.m. <laughs> so it's been a, um, a full afternoon, but yeah, two decent sized King George Whiting, uh, that blue swimmer, and a couple of uh, puffer fish, which are fun. Uh, again, thanks everyone for the support on the channel. The thousand subscribers is just amazing. And if, yeah, if you like this and want to give this a try down at Waralti, I certainly encourage it. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks guys.